Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to set up HTTP traffic based auto scaling in Azure Container Apps. So let's start with the different scaling options in ACA. So Azure Container Apps support three different types of scaling. First is HTTP based scaling, where scaling happens based on the number of the concurrent HTTP requests. And once this criteria is matched, a new replica is first created and then activated. Another one is the TCP based the number of the concurrence TCP connections and it's almost similar to HTTP requests. However, the third one, which is most important is the custom based scaling where you can scale based on CPU, memory or event driven. And in the back end, it supports SCADA, which is Kubernetes event driven architecture. So the scaling can happen based on the different services like Azure Service Bus, Azure Events Hub, Apache Kafka and Redis. So for now, these three are the declarative scaling options using which auto scaling happens in Azure Container Apps. Now there are different scaling limits. The minimum number of replicas per revision is zero, which means if there is no traffic in the case of the consumption plan, automatically the number of replicas will be changed to zero. That means you will not be charged for anything if there is no traffic. And the maximum number of replicas per revision is by default is 10. Minimum value you can set it as one maximum replicas can be configured is 1000. And if I'll talk specifically about HTTP requests concurrency, then it's calculated based on every 15 seconds. The total number of requests received within the 15 seconds will be divided by 15. And if they are more than the value, which is assigned during the creation of the scaling rule, then a new replica will be created. So let me show you HTTP traffic based scaling in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now. And if I'll go to the container apps, there is already one container app, which is created. It's using the consumption plan and I have deployed a Python flask application here. I have already created two videos where in the first video I have explained what is Azure container apps in detail and then showed the step-by-step -step demo in the Azure portal. And in the second video, I've deployed the Python flask application using the ACR Docker file and PowerShell into the Azure container apps. I'll provide the link of both the videos in the description, or you can click on the top right of the screen to view those videos. So right now, if I'll go to the revisions and replicas, because there is no traffic right now. So that means there are zero replicas running. However, if we'll go and hit the application URL, now this will generate a HTTP request and automatically a new replica will be started. And if you'll refresh this, you can see one replica, which is running show replica. And if you'll go here, you can see the web page, which is created. And if you'll click on click me, it shows a good message. So coming back to our container apps. So now there is one replica, which is running. So based on the consumption plan, you will be charged on the number of replicas will be running at that time. So if there is no traffic, there will be no replicas running and you will not be charged anything. And now in the application, if you'll go to the scale, it in the scale rule settings, it will show the minimum number of replicas is zero maximum number of replicas, which are set by default is 10 and you can increase it to 1000 and the current number of replicas is one. And if we'll go to the scaling rule, there is no scaling rule created. So let's add a new scaling rule. Let's name it as HTTP scaling because we are going to configure the type, which is HTTP scaling and the concurrent number of requests is 10. The concurrent requests are calculated based on the 15 seconds duration and the total number of requests will be divided by 15. So if we want the 10 concurrent requests, then we should have at least 150 requests within 15 seconds. So let's add this scaling rule and save as a new revision. A new revision will be created and the previous revision will be deallocated. Deploy in the new revision. If we'll go to revisions. So it's scaled down to zero and it's activating a new revision. And new revision is successfully deployed now. So you'll refresh again. It's still activating. 
and there is one replica running and if we'll go to active revisions it's running now and another one is getting deprovision and it will go to inactive state so now if we'll go back to our scale there is a scaling rule created which have 10 concurrent requests so to generate 10 concurrent requests we need to click on this url at least 150 times which i think it's not an easy task so what i'll do is i'll open the cloud shell and using the bash i'll generate around 500 requests so this is the command sequence of 1 to 500 where it will run the curl command for the application URL. Let's run this. So it will generate around 500 requests which should trigger the new replica within 15 seconds. Let's wait for it to finish. It's done now. Let's close this. Go to replicas. refresh and you can see because the concurrent requests are more so two replicas have triggered just now so now three replicas are running if we we'll go to scale and refresh this you can see three replicas are running now let's go to monitoring and check the metrics so first we'll check the number of requests which we have received as you can see, this web app received 500 requests. And if we'll change the metrics to a replica count, it'll show how it is generated. One replica was created. And when there were more than 10 concurrent requests, automatically two replicas are created here. And you can see the replica count as three. Now I'll pause the video and wait for at least 15 minutes to see if the replica count scales down to zero. It's been around seven to eight minutes. And as you can see, after 300 seconds, which is five minutes, container have checked its usage and the request number of requests and found out that there is none. And then it scaled down to zero. So right now there is no container or any replica is running. So if we'll go back to the overview and click on the URL, this should trigger the container. If we'll go to replica count instead of last one hour, the metrics is provided every minute. So let's wait for one minute and it should show that a container is triggered because the web page has started showing again. So that means there is one replica running. Metrics are not real time. So it took around a minute or so. Now it's showing the replica count is one. If there are no HTTP requests, then the replica count is zero. However, to serve even a single request, the replica count minimum will be one. And for scaling up further, you need to define the concurrency. And based on the concurrency, what we defined, we needed at least 150 requests in 15 seconds to trigger a new replica. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.